right, yo, what are you guys up to, man? Uh oh, we look a little crooked again. Hold up. But yeah, my ninja just the other day, I was watching a creator that I've been watching for years. And it's just someone that I love to watch. He's given great tips on how to grow your YouTube channel, as well as just like a lot of great life tips and just like enjoyable videos. But lately, I would say like maybe in the past year or so, something has been off. I was just watching one of her videos yesterday and something was just off. And now it took me a while to realize what was going on and how to explain it to you guys, but I think I figured it out. I think I know why her channel is just so strange to watch now. Right, you know what, let me zoom in on the face because I'm about to drop some sauce. Like I remember growing up and I remember my grandmother always saying things like, you are the company you keep or you reap what you sow. And she would also say something like, your vibe like creates your tribe. And now y'all know I'm a boss, so imagine my grandma. My grandmother was like a super boss. But yeah, with these quotes, they all kind of mean the same thing, but it's the last one. Your vibe creates your tribe is something that we should be very, very aware of as creators. Now hold up really quick because we gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor and that is Leo. Leo, thank you so much for the coffee and if you wanna buy me a coffee payment, don't be shy, the link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade because I ain't a hater in my hood, never let me be a hater. <laughs> oh, but also a huge shout out to everybody who wished Kid Sky Money a happy birthday. Man, y'all, and that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all are just, y'all are some bosses, man. But now, enough of that, because we gotta grip into this whole your vibe is your tribe and why it's so important for creators. So legit, the other day I hopped on YouTube and I saw the suggestion for the girl's video and I was like, huh, I haven't watched her videos in a while. I couldn't remember why I stopped watching her videos. All I knew was that I just wasn't seeing her videos around and I just wasn't watching them. Oh no, it's raining. Ah, the drip, getting the drip wet. No, cool. how did that bike get over there? What? What is going on? So I click on her video, I start watching, and then that's when I realized why I stopped watching her video. Like there was just something about it that it was just, it was just off, like it wasn't her, like it was, it was a darker her. Like even when her videos were titled something positive, somehow the whole vibe was a bit darker. So now you know, I ain't a hater, so I'm thinking it might just be me, but then when I read the comments, you even see the same kind of darkness in the comments. And that's when I realized that it is extremely important to remember that your vibe creates your tribe. And even with me, even with me being a boss, and y'all already know, I didn't choose Thug Life, Thug Life chose me. But even that, like even leaving all that behind, for the most part, when you watch my videos, the vibe is like, like I'm, it's, it's, it's hot, you know? And even with the energy, the energy's up there. The energy is the sauce. So when I look at my channel and my comments compared to her channel and her comments, even though our mission statements are very similar and very positive, she attracts something completely different from what I attract. Like I could even say that like, out of all the people that comment, like 98% of the people that comment, like minus like haters and like trolls, but 98% of y'all, I would kick it with, like I would legit look at your channel, hey, let's meet up, let's go over some things. Versus when I look at the audience that watches her stuff, I, I ain't gonna lie, man, I would not wanna kick it with these people. Just like my grandmother would tell me that you are the company that you keep. This also goes for us, us, us creators. We get back what we put out. So if you put out sauce, you get sauce. But if you put out negativity, well, I mean, Pippin, that's what you're gonna get back. Negativity. Ooh, man. I think we're gonna chill over here for just a bit because it's raining like crazy and we ain't trying to ruin the drip. <laughs> And now the reason I bring this up and want you guys to be aware of this is because I watched a couple of more of her videos and I realized that she actually brings this problem up in one of her videos. And it is something that she just couldn't understand. She could not understand where this wave of like negative people came from, like this negative dark vibe came from. She wasn't understanding that because she kept putting these negative vibes out that is what she was getting back. She couldn't see that she was a part of the problem. And Pippin, if I'm being honest, I mean, nobody would see it. And, and honestly, no one talks about it because think about it, it's not like she's going out physically recruiting people. She's just making videos like she's always made videos. But the only thing changing is her vibe being a bit more negative and dark. So Pippin, how do we avoid this? How do we combat this? How do we prevent this from happening to us? Because to be honest, it could happen to any of us. I mean, everybody can get it. But how do we do better? How do we figure out a way to avoid this? I hope they don't mind me filming here because I, I ain't buying nothing in there. 
<laughs> I'm just avoiding the rain. <laughs> But yeah, how do we avoid this? How can we avoid this happening to us? And I think the first thing to do is to first change your story. And what I mean by this is you have two types of people. You have people who look at things as a glass half full, but then on the flip side, you have people that look at it as the glass half empty. Uh-oh, the popo. -po. And now look, we gotta zoom in on the face for this. We all have been at a job or been at school where we have that like one person who just creates this dark cloud over everything. That person who just complains about everything. Nothing's their fault, things always happen to them. Their life is the worst thing in the world. My ninjas, that is a glass half empty person. Because again, payment, let's be real. Things happen to all of us. We all have some things that we could complain about. So instead about. of complaining, instead of just everything sucking, change the story and look at it from a glass half full perspective. Yeah, I'm making videos and yeah, I don't get no views, but I'm getting a lot of experience. Yeah, it's raining today. Yeah, it sucks. But pimping, ain't nobody out here bothering me. Like I, I can film anywhere I want. <laughs> Trying to tell y'all, man, glass half full, man. Glass half full. Pimping, at the end of the day, it could always be worse. Like. Always. But the moment you start focusing on what you have versus what you don't have and what you can do versus what you can't do, it makes things look so much bright. Something else that you could do that could help you avoid this whole growing, this dark negative tribe thing could literally be just don't share everything, every part of your life. You can be open and authentic without sharing like everything. I always put a limit on things that I want to share versus things that I don't want to share with the world. And nowadays it's so strange to see the moment someone has a problem with something or the problem with someone else, the first thing that they do is they go live and they talk about it. And now I'm not saying all situations are like the same, but what I'm saying is maybe take a step back and just think before you put something out there that's that's like deep or about somebody that you have a problem with, something like that. Like maybe just talk to the person. Perfect example is my wife and I's relationship isn't perfect or by like no means, but the internet and like my YouTube channel ain't the way like that's it's not to that's not the way to go that's not coming correct with the situation so yes be authentic yes be creative and yeah of course like be open if you want but put a limit on these things and don't share everything you don't need to share everything but another way you can avoid building a negative community or negative tribe is by simply surrounding yourself with the right people. Something else that my grandmother used to say all the time is that misery loves company. So the next time you feel some type of way, do your best to avoid hanging out with people who also feel that way. Instead, try to surround yourself with people who are doing something, people who are growing, people who see things in a different perspective because they might help you see the whole situation completely differently from how you took versus hanging out with somebody who just feels the same way as you, it's not really gonna help you. As a matter of fact, it's the complete opposite because what they're gonna do is literally just feed all those bad feelings that you have. And instead of looking at things more logically, they're probably gonna look at it through their feelings. And again, this does not help you and it actually makes the whole situation worse. <laughs> things clear I am not saying that you can't share certain aspects of your life I'm I ain't saying that at all but I am saying just be mindful of the things that you are just letting loose on the internet especially when it comes to the people that you attract also like don't film in the rain <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I need to get in this tunnel <laughs> but Pippin those are my thoughts I, I would love to know what you guys think I, is that just me and am, am I tripping like does it really matter though like at the end of the day does it matter and I guess for me it kind of does matter because I don't know I like seeing DMs and I like seeing positive like I like seeing the positivity that the boss squad just brings to the table like I ain't gonna lie I really like it and then I also just love hearing about how I inspire you guys and just help you guys out like I love hearing that stuff I and I hear from you guys also a lot about the energy and the positive vibes that I bring but yeah, a lot. let me know what you guys think down below. Man, it's rain, man. Jeez, I gotta keep getting in tunnels. <laughs> but anyway, Pimmin, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Please shout out to today's coffee sponsor. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, because y'all know my hood will never let me be a hater. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>